was 14 years old. You were 14 years old? 14 years old. And you came to Portsmouth then? I came to Portsmouth as a juvenile. Yeah, and, how, and what was your sentence? I sentenced him as nine years. But how comes you've been here so long then? In the present, I go to the 28th. They told me, okay, I gave you a number and you must kill a guy in the cell. And they give me a, a knife. And the other guy came and they strangled him. And I took the knife and stabbed him in his heart. And, and the, two times and the blood came out. Yeah. And you did that because you were ordered to, yeah? Yes. Because you were 28, I yeah? Had 28 years. This is John Mongrel. He was a high-ranking leader of the notorious 28 Numbers gang until his death in 2014. He has maimed and murdered his way to the very top of the Numbers gang. He was the most feared man within the organization just because of how violent he was. His bloody road to the top ranks of the organization started 30 years ago, when at just 14 years old, John Mongrel was arrested for murder and sentenced to Polsmore Maximum Prison as a juvenile. He was only supposed to be serving a nine-year sentence which started in 1990, but he was in prison until his death in 2014. In prison he had gained a huge reputation and was a respected man amongst his fellow gang members, just because of how violent and brutal John Mongrel was. During his time in Polsmore Maximum Prison, John Mongrel would eventually join the 28 Numbers Gang by murdering a prison warder stabbing the poor man 14 times through the heart, leaving him to die in the cells of Polsmore Maximum Prison. He was only 15 when he committed this heinous crime. The numbers 28s, 27s, 26s, all ascertain a level and function within the gang, and the systemized organization is in place. Mongrel made it his priority unlike other prisons that 28s are top of the chain in Polsmore Prison, and demand that other numbers listen to every word he says. Should any member from the organization step out of line, it is said that John Mongrel will carry out the duty of killing those members himself. It is believed that Mongrel has been responsible for over 100 deaths inside the Polsmore Maximum Prison, either directly or indirectly in his 30 years in the prison. The three gangs, which are the 26, 27 and the 28, have forged a close relationship for power sharing against other notorious gangs in Cape Town, South Africa. Since these gangs were established within prisons, a new prison culture was formed that made South African prisons notorious for violence and hostile behaviors. These gangs would then eventually create a new prison language to safeguard their criminal activities and protect their codes and secrets. With establishing their dominance in South African prisons, a set of rules were enforced which dictated how the gangs would operate. This included the way they lived, and when each gang is allowed to operate. The 26 and 27 gang would run the prison during the times of 12 midnight up to 12 midday, while the 28 gang would control the prison from 12 midday to 12 midnight. <laughs> And The Numbers Gang was started in the late 1800s, supposedly to protect black mine workers in Durban. The origins of the gang remain uncertain at best, however amongst the gang members, the likely apocryphal story of two young boys from Durban is claimed as the gang's origin. The Numbers Gang story holds that a man named Poe allegedly befriended two young Zulu boys in the early 1900s who were on their way to the mines to look for work, and along with 15 other teenagers, it is said that Poe recruited these two young men to commit crimes of robbing mine workers, and he also taught them a secret language. The men would also rob travelers and colonial outposts of their good. It is said that in order for the gang to avoid getting caught, Poe decided to split the group into two, with one of the Zulu boys controlling one group, and the other controlling the other group. 
Po ordered the two men to carve their daily outlaw activities on a nearby rock, which would serve as a diary. After Po's death, the two gangs decided to go their separate ways. The first group had a total of seven members, and the other group had eight members. It is said that, this is where the numbers 27 and 28 originated, with the number 2, symbolizing the two leaders. The gangs agreed that the day and night would still be divided between them as it had always been. The gangs continued to roam the countryside until both of their leaders ended up in Point Prison, in Durban. Now, the 26 gang would eventually be formed during the two Zulu boys' time in prison. The 26 was founded by non-gang members, who were trying to defend themselves against the 28 and 27 gangs. The 26 gang was a group of six men, led by a Zulu man from the south of Durban, whose name was Gray. Finally, the three camps were formed. The 26 gang was responsible for gambling, smuggling and acquiring wealth within the organization. The 26s keep the prisons alive and are responsible for acquiring supplies of money, drugs, cigarettes and other luxuries, and known for beating the system. The wealth they bring into the prison system must be shared with the 28s, if the 28s are low on resources. The 27s gang are the men of blood and the most violent of the three gangs. They are the guardians of gang law and the peacekeepers between all the gangs. They also negotiate problems and communicate between the 26s and 28s. The 27s gang is the most secretive of the numbers gang organization, and little is known about their structure. The 28s gang were the warriors and responsible for fighting on behalf of all three groups. With the formation of the three separate groups, new rules and a strict code of conduct were drawn up by the gang's leaders. It was decided that when a gangster broke a rule, the blood of a police warder must be spilled to set things right. Within the prison walls, the numbers gangs are well aware that the consequences of their actions will not result in a beating or the death penalty, and therefore new initiates are encouraged to stab a warden, or even to attempt to take his eye out of the socket. One of the most compelling messages that the numbers gang members like to send to the warders is, by holding up a mirror toward the warden. This derives from the traditional practice of holding up an image of an inmate. The message the numbers are said to be sending is, we are what you are. You are an army, we are an army. Where you have a head of the prison, we will have a judge. Where you have a head of a section, we will have a general. Whatever you do to us, we will do to you in turn. The numbers gang is divided into different kinds of ranks. Each rank is represented by stars which are tattooed on the shoulder of the gang member. The highest rank within the 28th numbers gang is the general, which was John Mongrel's rank. The general is responsible for anything and everything that belongs to the gang, and that includes the 26 and 27 gangs. These responsibilities can include weapons like knives and machetes, that are used to assassinate rival gang members and, most of the time wardens. The general also has the power to decide on whom deserves to get murdered, and, he also gets to decide whom amongst the new prisoners, gets to be recruited within the gang. He will have eight stars tattooed on his shoulders, usually four on each shoulder. He is also the captain who is the second in command after the general. The captain along with the general are the only people who make decisions for the whole organization, especially on matters related to the killings of wardens. Without their approval, nothing can be done within the prison walls. Another rank within the organization is the inspector, who observes all ritual stabbings and ensures that all duties are performed, and plays a role in the promotion of members. His job is also to search for new recruits, and memorizes decisions taken at inter-gang meetings. He will have four stars on his shoulders, usually two on each shoulder and these are seen in the form of tattoos. Then, there is the most notorious and violent rank in the group, the third division. 
This is also the lowest rank of the organization, and it includes the fighting soldiers who do all the murderings, and the non-commissioned officers who are under the organization's payroll. This rank involves all the new recruits, who are still climbing the murderer's ladder of the organization. It also includes prison warders who are under the control of the gang. In order to join the numbers gang, just like any other notorious organization, blood must be spilt. But, not just any blood. The blood of a prison warder to be exact. Because <laughs> that was a real footage which was made inside the Polesmore Maximum Prison. It shows a fresh new inmate who is about to be initiated to join the 28th gang. This sort of initiation requires the initiate or the new prisoner to take the life of an innocent. From murdering innocent warders, to butchering rival gang members and putting their heads in vices until they talk. The details of what these new recruits are willing to do can be extremely shocking. What is underrepresented, however, is what these young kids do to get into gangs. These young recruits are willing to do whatever it takes to show their loyalty, which often means subjecting themselves to injury and humiliation. Within the numbers gang, the new recruit will be observed and taken under the wing of a high-ranking senior member of the gang. A man who is known as the binoculars. He will generally watch the way new recruits interact with other non-gang members. He will watch how the new prisoner deals with conflict, the way he solves problems, and the way he walks and talks to other prisoners. Then, in order for the new recruit to be able to join the gang, he will be given a task to complete. This task could either be the fatal or non-fatal stabbing of another inmate or warden. The new recruit will then be handed a knife by the general, who is the only person allowed to hand out weapons amongst the gang members. The general will also be the only person who will decide if the stabbing should be fatal or not. Once the stabbing has taken place, all the gang members will then proceed to welcome the new member to the organization. So in Mela and Oku, the Aquas, Bakwas, Lake in Mela, Nabuko, Banswell, Namela, Pismela, Bella, Fakum song. Probably undisciplined, Bafaga discipline. Snail in the Lando Bamas Bafaga discipline. Says most why. 